Let's see if y'all remember this one. In order to truly know someone, first you must fight them. But I would add this. If you do fight them, you might find out more than you ever wanted to know about them. And because of it, have to walk away. So here's the thing about empaths. We're suckers. We want to believe you. We want to take every word at face value, even though there's something in us that says that you can't. But at least wise in my case, every time I look past that, it comes back to bite me in the ass. So don't question your instincts. If you get a funny feeling about somebody from whatever point, challenge them. Point out your misgivings or your questions about how they operate and see how they react. If they don't come back with sensible common sense arguments to establish and maintain their position, and the best they can do is throw around names and insults, they're not the person they claim to be. And everything after that should be held suspect. There are a lot of people nowadays claiming that they're spreading the word. And the word in itself is being spread. But a lot of people and I mean a lot of people, are using it, as an, an using it as an opportunity to promote themselves instead of promote the Word of God. And if that's why someone gains a following, their church, because that's what it is, is built on a false foundation. The person spreading the Word isn't looking for people who worship God, they want people who will worship them and their words. And there's a huge difference. And that's why I'm making this video. Because that kind of behavior, that kind of deception, that kind of quest for power is going to become more and more prevalent as we roll into the times that we're rolling into. And if you're not able to see it or willing to see it or even go so far as to poke at someone a little bit to find out where they're coming from, it could cost you more than you could possibly imagine. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen, straight up, no bullshit. Blind faith is just that, blind. And you could end up walking over a cliff because of it. Because you wanted to follow a mere man and the words coming out of his mouth instead of the words for what they are. Make sense? I certainly hope so. Because before this is all said and done, we're all going to be tested on that one.